Hello, my name is Hector and this is the wonderful world of Victoria. Welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me now. Last episode was a very special episode where we made this. Uh, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. You must be like the only person that hasn't. As um, as of right now, it's got about 550 views. It's been amazing. So thank you so much for your support, people. Um, it's very much appreciated. Uh, I've updated our other map so it shows our paths. And in fact, I've done a little bit of work. Uh, if you can recall last episode, I had a bit of a mess here. I had one path coming over here and one path coming over here and then lots of weird stuff in the middle. So I decided to get rid of those and just do one path in the middle, which I think works a lot better. Um, it does mean, you know, that obviously to go here, you'd end up doing this. But I think it just looks better. I think it looks a lot better. So we did that. So that is... That is great. So, what are we doing this episode well? No, that is actually what we're doing. We're, we are making a well. Um, yeah, I just, I think after that big project that we did last episode, I kind of want to do some, just some smaller projects around Ectoria and, you know, get the thing, get, get the world a little bit more kind of, you know, the way I want it. You just inhabited with little, Nice little details and touches, because I think that's really what makes a world quite special. So, what I wanted to do here, in fact, let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look in here. I still haven't replaced the blacksmith that was in here. Oh, it's doing well. It's doing well. Um, see how many times I say the word well in this episode? <laughs> so, I thought we would make it over here somewhere. I'm not sure. I think this is a bit too close. Have I got an axe on me that isn't about to die? Yes, I do. I can see some materials. Bit of a spoiler. So, how is everybody doing today? I hope you are all having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. Uh, if you didn't watch my last episode of Stut Tech, um, <clears throat> I mentioned recently that, unfortunately, I... I used to have a wireless keyboard and mouse and the USB dongle that came with them broke and you can't replace them so I'm having to get a new uh, keyboard and mouse which is really annoying uh, really annoying so I'm currently waiting for my mouse to arrive I've had to buy them separately uh, I'll probably get my keyboard next month I've got my old wired keyboard for now which is horrible but I can make do I can make do for a month or something like that um that's fine but I am waiting for it so if I cut off this recording uh very quickly then that is probably why uh, there'll, there'll be a knock at the door and I've waited as long as I can I was hoping it would come earlier in the morning but of course it hasn't that is that is the way it goes so I am thinking I think we can get rid of this and I might I might uh, dot a few of these round my world uh, here and there, but I think we'll just stick with one for now. I just want to see what it kind of looks like in the world, uh, you know, just to just to see, just to see. Let's do that. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. Yeah, I think I think around here. Uh, let's just knock that one off. Uh, let's put some over here. I'm also at some point I need to do like a big torch project. Well, not a torch project, but getting rid of all the torch spam might be next episode. I do want to add some lights into uh, Ectoria. I've got a few things in mind, but uh, yeah, it does need to happen. It does need to happen because I look at all the torches. Just look at it. I really wish there was some kind of... I wish Mo Yang would add uh, some kind of way of lighting up things that doesn't involve just having to spam torches everywhere. I, I don't know. I don't know what it would be. I haven't really got a thought or an idea. I just wish there was a solution. Um, but anyway, anyway, I think, I think here is a good place. So let's get some stuff ready. 
in the old hot bar. Uh, we don't need that for now. So this isn't going to be a large build. Um, I think, I think there. Hmm. Let's. No, no, I'm not happy with that. I think this doesn't really matter that much, but I think I think one over. I think one over. Okay. So, ah. That's a good start. Yesterday I had a comment on my stud tech video that said, um, you know, people would like it if I built on camera more, which, you know, I'm, I'm very happy to try. But as you can see, oh, I misplace blocks all the time. I just feel really, really uh, kind of ungainly uh, when I'm building on camera. But that's fine. Look, again, I get, how did that even happen? How did that happen? Uh, okay, so, so we are going to add, I think, uh, let's see, I think one there, bam, yes, let's swap that out again, uh, one here, because obviously I want this well to be, I know, I want it to work as an infinite water source, um, you know, I, as you might know by now, I kind of like, I like uh, my build to have some kind of, you know, reason for being here. Not just that, you know, they might be cool or anything like that. Um, but actually that they, they serve some kind of purpose. So, you know, hence my blacksmith, if you are new to this world, new to the series, oh, oh, we are, we are about to have night upon us. Where's the bed? Where's my bed? Where's my bed? Uh, my blacksmith here is, it has an iron farm underneath uh, that funnels up. My windmill over there uh, has an automatic wheat farm hooked up to it, which we should actually go check out. Maybe we'll do that later. So yeah, so I, I you know, I just like my bills to have just, you know, little bits of purpose. I just think it adds quite a lot and it gives me, gives me more of a reason to build them sometimes. It's just... It's, it's nice to walk around the world and kind of make use of the built, I think. For me, anyway. For me, personally. Obviously, you know, each to their own, you know. Um, uh, I think a lot of people are, you know, think differently. And that is that is completely fine. That's how it, that's how it should be. So, let's just finish this bit off here. Come on. Yes. And, you know, it's very unlikely that anyone is going to see this, but... It just, you know, it's this, these little things that I think just make a bit of a difference. So, we have that. Is that, ah, oh, that's a horse. I thought it was a cow. Oh, the, these horses, they always, they always make me think that they are cows. Let's just pick these birch saplings up. So, we have one of these, one of, come on, no, still not, there and there, and I think one there as well. Bam, bam, ah, uh, oh, too close, too close. And I was really, I was so trying to work out a way, and I wish these could go horizontally across. Um, that'd be so great. And I've seen some that use um, fence gates in the middle, which looks quite good as well. Um, but I, what I was trying to do is, I was gonna, I was messing around in creative, and I was trying to get it so that we could have a lead, you know, attached, so it would look like, you know, the water bucket down the well that you, you, you used to hoist up. Um, but it just, it, do, it does work, but it just kind of, you know, I kind of attached it to a chicken, and then if you block up the lead, then it goes black because it's kind of going through a block, and it, it ends up going through a block anyway, and you can't get it just over here without putting, you know, one like this, but I don't, I don't think that looks good. I don't. I don't like that. So it's a bit of a shame. So it's one of these things, you know, in Minecraft where you kind of have to make do. Um, yeah, you, you kind of have to make do. So we have that bit done of the well. The well. And what I did to design this, just in case anyone is wondering or cares. Um, there we go. Is I, uh, I was looking. Come on. Ah, come on. Come on. Oh, am I too close? There we go. Uh, I looked on Google Images uh, at, at Wells, and at first, 
at first I was just going to do just, you know, a normal little well without any kind of thing, but I noticed that so many wells had these little, um, oh, I know what I've forgotten, I've forgotten some slabs, I knew I'd forget something, um, had these little roofs over them, so I thought that would be a nice little addition, uh, it's always, always nice to do something that is uh, a bit more real world based, let's go into the blacksmith again, as I know there is a crafting bench in here, ba 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 ba, gonna try and do some, you know, some, pretty much the entire build on camera, thought I would try it out, uh, I don't need that many, let's say 18, yeah, let's say that, that many for now, and I'm sad about my blacksmith that isn't here, it's a shame, I will put one back at some point, but uh, I, you know, I just removed all the uh, uh, the rail tracks, so I don't want to do it yet. Oh, I quite like that. I quite like that. That is just there in the background. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I wanted. It's just little, little bits like that that just really add to the world. I think. Um, so I wanted to put one row here, like that, and then nope, that's not what I wanted. And then, if we pull it up, and then one just here. Very simple, very simple, but uh, I think that looks great. I think that's good. And that is, that is pretty much the design done. That is, you know, that is the, uh, the actual build. Ah, what I do need to do now, ahaha, ahaha, is make this into an actual well. So, put one there, one there, and now, bam, we have an infinite water source. How good is that? I just quite like that, and I, the reason that I went with stairs here is because obviously if this was a block, it's just a bit annoying to kind of, I don't want to have to jump up like that, I just feel, again, it's a Minecraft kind of limitation, that uh, obviously you can't just lean over, so, you know, this is the way to do it. Uh, but we have an infinite water source, and I think we will be adding some uh, around around the the world as we as we progress. I think that is something that I I'd quite like to see. Just you know, little little wells here and there. So we are going to add some coarse dirt here and there. I think um, just to add a bit of a. I I didn't want. Super powerful shovel. I didn't want a um oh, it's so hard. Uh I didn't want this path, you know, like the, the proper path. I wanted a bit more kinda, you know, beaten track kind of path. Got to be so careful. Ah, oh, so hard. So so difficult. Oh there we go. Okay, so let's add some uh here and there. Um Bam, bam, bam. I think we can add another one here. There we go. There we go. Uh, and I'm not sure right now. Let's put another one there. I will add more, don't worry. I'm just kind of... Just kind of gauging where the things might be. And get rid of that as well. That horse keeps freaking me out. It keeps moving. And I keep thinking it's a mob. Oh well, it is a mob, but I mean a hostile mob. Um, like that. And I don't know if we should add any kind of. Maybe actually, yeah. I've just had an idea. Let me go grab some stuff. Uh. I think I have an idea just to make it a little bit nicer uh, and I might I might I think I might get some gravel to put in this as well so let me go grab some stuff and I will catch you in a sec okay welcome back I have some stuff I need to just be careful here because I know there is obviously water just under that grass block there so I just need to be a bit careful but what I thought was the good old stone slabs. I'll just add uh, a bit of a border 
around here. Let's see how that looks. And I thought actually as well, where are they? What I would do is in this section here is put one of those. There we go, because it kind of looks like, I think the fence looks, you know, like it is kind of designed to go in there. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think? I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. Don't, I don't think, I don't think that works. I think that's a bit too clean. I think it's a bit too clean. I quite like, I do like those. Uh, yeah, not sure about that. Um, I'm going to add some gravel into this bit here though. Just whilst we're here. And whilst we're here. So uh, that is another reason why sometimes I don't build on camera. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work out. But there you go. I'm, you know, I don't mind that I did that. I, I'm not sure about that. I'd like to know what your opinions are. I might change that. Um, I don't know with what yet. Uh, but yes, I don't think that works quite as I'd hoped, which is fine. You know. Building is a process. We keep trying to make make things better. Uh, let's add another one there. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Don't know. What else have I got on me? Yeah, I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. Don't know. I don't know, but I don't think I'm. I don't think I want to leave that. I might, I might have a quick play around with stuff, uh, and then bring you guys back in. Oh, what I was going to do as well. I knew there was something else. I was going to add some pods all to this path, just to kind of add like a, like a muddy texture. I think pods all kind of works quite nicely as as mud um, and actually tilled uh, tilled soil does as well uh, I think and in fact I kind of want to use that a bit more tilled soil the texture I think it's a bit underused really but it's because it's you know it's a bit faffy having to obviously have water sources everywhere uh, so I think that's why it doesn't really get used often okay I think that's a bit better and I might add uh, the old um, green carpets as well like I have there eventually you know to hide the torches I think that will that will definitely happen uh, I quite like that I think I might add one or two more bits of, uh, of dirt let's add one there yeah, maybe as well and there okay well, that's a bit better that's a bit better. I think actually here as well. Okay, so mm, I'm there. Um, yeah, let me quickly have a, a play around with this and see if we can do anything else. My other thought was actually, actually, let's just do this on camera. Might as well, since we are here, was to kind of do this. Uh, See how that looks. Ah. Oh no! Come on! There we go. There we go. Ah, the last one. Oh, come on! There we go. How does that look? See. <sighs> That's kind of interesting. I quite like the fact that that goes down. I just don't like that it's the same texture. I think that's that's what makes me not happy about that. Okay, let me play around with that and I will catch you in a sec. Okay, so I had a little mess around. It didn't take me that long, but I just replaced the stairs with cobble stairs uh, and then I thought that looked a bit better, but then I thought it was too much cobble. 
So I added back in just the stone bricks on the side here. And I think it kind of makes it look like that is like a kind of drain area thing. <laughs> At least that's what I think. And I think, I think I like it. I think I like it. But let me know what you guys think. Um, your comments would be appreciated because I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on this yet. Uh, but I think it's better. I think it's better. So we are going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching this episode, guys. I've been Hector. This has been Ectoria. And I will definitely see you next time. Bye-bye.